You've worked a lot on systems as well. Yeah. Systems within your organization. Talk about the importance of having systems inside of your team. Yeah. Systems are everything. Systems will create um, less work for you, but you still have to drive those systems. You still have to be strong in those systems. So we have systems for everything. So when people get started, guess what? There's a system that we put them into immediately on you know, how to get their websites, how to get their codes, right? How to get their first customers, how to get their first distributors, how to get their first ranks, right? What event that they need to enroll in and in, in go all in and right away. Like we have that all set up. So that's in their lap immediately. It's kind of a roadmap, right? Just think of systems as just a roadmap for you to plug your people into and for them to take step A, step B, step C, right? To get results. So we have systems around getting started, systems around events, systems around objections. You know, that's a big thing for people today. I think people don't grow or they leave the business or they don't get what they're supposed to really get here in our world is because of the objection thing. And I think one thing about objections, all that is, is a way to build a connection with somebody, build more rapport with somebody and really get them to see it like they don't see it today. Because most people, when they throw an objection, Eric, you know, they're, it's them just wanting to know what you're going to do, how you're going to respond. And if you're going to really run away or run into them, you know, and, and pull them closer. So we have systems for all that. Right. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. We post new content every single day. If you're into network marketing, entrepreneurship, or personal development, this is the channel for you.